Okay, Pisces. This will be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I'm going to start off using this. Oh, goodness. These cards are so big. The Spirit Animal Oracle cards. Okay. And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And if at the end, if you want to give it a like and share, that would be cool. Okay, Frog Prosperity. It says, let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. Okay. So a little for Pisces for this upcoming week. If a card falls out, I just put it back in and it's just usually from shuffling. It's, I don't think it's anything necessarily divine, but if it comes back out again, then yes, it was meant to be. Okay. By the way, um, every sign has a power color. Okay. And yours is light green. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Okay. Earth signs so far, air signs, water signs. That must just be, I don't know if I'm just being sloppy today or what. There was so many cars are flipping over unless there's so many messages. I don't know what the deal is. Sometimes I don't know whether to believe that those cards are meant to be or like I said, if I'm just being sloppy. <laughs> but we'll see if they come back. And yeah, that was one that came out earlier. So it was meant to be, came back out. Okay. So like I said, there's earth signs, water signs, and air signs here. You have a lot of air signs here. So you could be surrounded by a lot of air signs, which um, is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I'm just taking a look at the cards here. So, okay, so you have two twos here and the number two is about partnerships and harmony and balance okay start off here with the eight of pentacles um, by the way pisces is march i know sometimes it or some signs overlap with the some months overlap with the signs but someone asked me because they watch different signs i guess and want to know what some what the month is for the signs so with the Eight of Pentacles here, did I show it? I think I did. With the Eight of Pentacles, um, this is about learning all you can about a subject. And it could be going back to school, but it's also it's new opportunities. It could be learning a new profession. Next is the Ace of Pentacles. And this card is represents good fortune and could be an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative, lucrative uh, contract. Could also indicate a new home or car. Next is the King of Swords. So if this is a new profession or if you're trying to, if you've been, um, learning all you can about something looks like it leads to 
good things. Okay. So with the King of Swords here, this person uh, it shows it sharp-minded, in intelligent, respected. Somebody usually in authority, like in power, that has authority. Like you can fully understand complex situations. Next is the Knight of Cups. And with the Knight of Cups here, this could be um, kind of like a knight in shining armor. It's about falling in love. Somebody who's romantic, flirtatious. But it can be intense emotional experience. Okay. Next is the Knight of Swords. And this is events that move with great speed. Could be sudden or unexpected changes. It um, shows courage and determination. Somebody who's driven and focused. Okay, next is Judgment. And this is about reviewing past choices. It's kind of like consequences of past actions, but it's uh, reaping the rewards of the past efforts. So it's about truth and forgiveness. Next is the Six of Swords. And this shows that it could be end of challenging times. That things are looking up. It's going to be an improvement. And um, it can also be travel or relocation. Next is the Two of Swords. And there could be some indecision going on. Maybe it's the need for compromise. It could be overanalyzing something or having two different choices. So also also could be like pretending like there isn't a problem. Next is the two of cups. And this card is usually a card of commitment. It could be important unions. It could be uh, like marriage. But it's also a card of communication. It could be falling in love also. So now it also says that it suggests that it could be like something from the past coming back around that was romantic. Okay, I feel like something, I'm, I almost feel like I'm missing something here when I'm looking, like, am I, is there something I'm missing? I f just feel like the feeling, not that I'm forgetting something because I'm looking at the cards, but is there something I'm missing within this reading? I'm going to, unless that's the feeling that one of you has right now, and I'm just feeling it, I don't know. I was like, okay, what else? Is there something else type thing? Or maybe there's something very specific, but let me. Okay, well, you have the judgment card again here. I like to pull one more card in these readings, but. So you have the judgment card twice here. That's the first one. And then again here. And when you get a card twice, it's generally like the universe saying, hey, did you hear what I said? You know, I meant it. So with the judgment, again, it's um, about truth, forgiveness, renewal, um, 
consequences of your past actions reviewing past choices but um also like reaping the rewards of your past efforts and it's also about making wise choices okay all right pisces if you liked it if you want to give it a like and a share that'd be great um and if you, you can subscribe to my ch well you can if you would subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate that all right thanks a lot you guys